Capricorn. Let's do Capricorn, okay? So if you're Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, how does Capricorn's love interest feel about them? How does Capricorn's love interest feel about them? How does Capricorn's love interest... Ooh, justice, okay? How does Capricorn's love interest feel about them? How does Capricorn's love interest... I'll take these. The world paired with the Hierophant and the Queen of Swords. There's a little bit of frustration here. Okay, how does Capricorn... Knight of Cups. Hmm. Like this person, clearly they're in love with you. They love you, but there's some frustration here, Capricorn. And I feel like it's because you're not giving them a chance. Like, I just feel them getting very fussy. <laughs> On the back, you have the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles represents hardships in a connection. Typically represents coldness and distance between two people. So this person is like, I feel like they're lovesick. I feel like they really miss you. And now they're like, they're, they're becoming mad at you because of this distance that you have put between the two of you. I don't feel like this person is used to you setting boundaries with them. Um, they were hoping that this would stop, that you would stop setting boundaries with them. Perhaps they thought that this is something that wouldn't last long, that you, you know, they thought that you would come back or go back to them and that eventually you would just, you know, give in and stop being mad at them, but you're not giving in. Like you've, you've been the queen of swords. The queen of swords is someone who's very cold and very distant. You've been this queen of swords to them for a very long time and they're missing you um, a lot. And now they're becoming very like fussy. They're frustrated. They're upset with you. Um, it's like, why, it's like, why can't you let me see? <laughs> why can't you let me see you Capricorn? Why can't you let me see you? I feel like this person just wants to see you really bad. I feel like this individual is like very grumpy as well. I would hate to be around them right now like for their friends and family who are around them sucks for them because this person's really grumpy they're putting all their frustration on other people so the justice card is here the justice card only comes out if you know there was an injustice in the past this person feels like you deciding to cut them out is unfair Okay, they're not taking any accountability at all for what they did, Capricorn. They're just mad that they don't get to see you anymore. They miss you a lot. Um, but I don't feel like this person understands that what they did was really like they know that it's wrong, but they kind of feel like, why are you still doing why are you doing this? <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, Capricorn. Um like yeah, Capricorn's doing this because you did wrong. You know, you caused an injustice. This person's very selfish. It's like it's just about them, 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 them. You know, it's about how they feel. But they're not considering that you're putting distance between the two of you because of how they made you feel. They're very selfish. It's just all about what they want. And right now they want you, but they can't have you. And they're very upset with that. You have the world, which represents completion. <sighs> This individual wants a do-over, okay? Um, but I still, I still sense some stubbornness here, Capricorn, because the world is typically someone who is on the borderline of either leaving something behind from their past and or going towards a new beginning, okay? I feel like this individual hasn't cut off certain things from their past completely they may have distance they may have distanced themselves from a past person or a past situation but they haven't officially severed ties with their past yet they're thinking about coming in for a do-over with you. you even have the hierophant this individual um, wants to apologize to you. The Hierophant is all about confessing in order to in order to um, get forgiveness. So confessing, apologizing in order to get your forgiveness. But I still I still sense something from their past 
lingering for some reason. There's something from their past that's still lingering, so be careful. Then you have the Queen of Swords that's here, okay? So this is how they're seeing you. They're seeing you as someone who is very intolerant of them, someone who is very cold, very distant, very cutting. Um, and you have the Knight of Cups. You guys know if you follow my channel, I always say the Knight of Cups reminds me of someone who's doing the walk of shame, like someone who did you wrong, yet they're having to come right back to you to make things right, okay? Um, wow, I actually want to clarify this Knight of Cups and see what they're going to do. Clarify the Knight of Cups. The strength, yeah, they're going to come towards you. They can't take it anymore. They can't take it. If you want this person to come towards you, don't give in. You've been cold to them for such a long time. They're going to surrender and come towards you. Okay, so Capricorn, this is how your love interest feels. Look, on the back, you have the Ace of Swords representing clarity, getting the truth. They can't hold it in anymore. They can't be away from you any longer. They're going to have to come in and really confess and give you the clarity that you deserve, Capricorn. So thank you guys for watching. Um, let's go to Taurus. How does Taurus love interest feel about them? You have the knight, or the hermit, I'm sorry. You have the hermit. How does Taurus love interest feel? How does Taurus love interest feel about them? The lovers, excellent. Hmm. Interesting. Why do I feel like this is new love, Taurus? I feel like this is a new person. This is what I'm seeing and this is what I'm hearing. Um, so if you don't have new love, this may not be for you. I feel like this is someone new who has caught your attention and you're very physically attracted to this person. And 